Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is Storytelling with author Amy Shannon, um, if you haven't guessed by now. Um, and today's story, it really revolves around the behind the scenes of my latest book that's coming out on March 3rd, 2020, and it's called All of My Yesterdays. It is a collection of poetry, prose, verse, and different inspirations and ideas that kind of came to me, so I wrote them down, and then I created a collection out of it. Um, really, when I started writing it, I wasn't even planning on putting a book. I was just kind of thinking about what inspired me, and sometimes it was just reading, um, and then I became inspired, and I wrote some thoughts of my own down on plenty of paper. Um, I used to sit in the waiting room while my father was doing physical therapy so I would bring books to read and also um, notebooks with plenty of writing paper make sure that um, if I had an idea it would come to me and sometimes I would just sit there and read um, either Shakespeare or Walt Whitman um, I am a big fan of Shakespeare's sonnets and Walt Whitman's anything um, especially his book Leaves of Grass and I find that by reading that, it kind of inspired me to kind of write my own. And in the book, we'll tell different um, reasons why both Whitman and Shakespeare um, inspired me. And there's also some inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe. Um, but I also am inspired by music and songs and lyrics and even singers. Um, Frank Sinatra is one of my um, favorite singers um, and I am inspired just by his work. What I have done is created a collection but also in the book is there are titles of songs and then I write the author and then I kind of write what I um, am inspired by through the title and maybe what the song means to me. Um, so that's kind of one of my interesting takes on, you know, my ideas and how music and lyrics kind of influenced me and have influenced me um, f since I can remember. I am a big fan of music. When I write, I usually listen to music and depending on the type, um, you know, that kind of is sets the tone for what I'm writing. Um, I like pretty much any kind of music, um, from classical to classic rock, um, big bands and swingers, things like that. Um, I mean, my favorites range from Frank Sinatra to Led Zeppelin to Aerosmith, um, the, the uh, band Train. Um, James Taylor is one of my ultimate favorite singers, so I have a very eclectic taste. And I even like some old-fashioned fa Knuckles Old Tool um, playing Honky Tonk on the piano. It reminds me of when I was a child. So I am influenced and inspired by others. And I hope that one day, maybe even one of my words or one of my thoughts may inspire others. I don't know what the future holds for me being able to sit down and actually write so that's why I do these storytelling videos. So I wanted to share um, one of my poems called Storytelling, and hopefully it'll intrigue you to, you know, pick a copy of my book and, you know, just browse through it and read it, and maybe something in there will inspire you. So this is the titled Storytelling in my book called All of, Yest All of My Yesterdays. The gentle watery flow smashing against the ragged rocks, the snow-capped mountains nestled against the bluest skies, wisps of soft breeze whispering against the blushing cheek, unanticipatory verbiage impacting emotions. To thine own self be true, to rhyme without rhythm, to eat, to pray, to love. The best of times, the worst of times, the state of an error, the unpredictable ellipsis, the improper but appropriate pause, inflection for reflection, brilliant salutations, morphemes, contractions, exclamatory fragments, freedom within thought, freedom to express. Once upon a time, it was a dark and stormy night of man's first disobedience. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Learn growth, long journeys into the lost world, satisfaction at the close of the book, artful, impacting storytelling. I hope that 
just an inkling of maybe some words that I share with people will carry on my legacy for years to come, but also give some inspiration and maybe let people know that it's okay to put take the thoughts in your head and put them down on paper. And it's even braver to share those words with others. So if you're a writer, you are a writer. If you're a poet, it's inside you, you know it. And I'm not trying to be hokey or anything, but you feel it. Sometimes it comes later on in life when you're least expecting it, but there's always that talent with within you that you know is part of you and if you have it flaunt it that's all I can say you don't have to be brag or be boastful but be proud and confident in sharing your words it's not always easy to take what you have and share it with others we never know what the other person is going to say or think about us so I hope that maybe one of you, all of you, um, will pick up a copy of my book called All of My Yesterdays, available in Kindle and paperback on Amazon on March 3rd, 2020. And also, if you enjoy my blog, I will be um, sending different posts out this month, month of March, um, with different uh, pieces of my poetry. Um, some are in previous books, such as my book, Unbroken Souls, and my other book, Tattered Words. So, again, this has been Amy Shannon. I thank you for listening to my stories, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon. Thank you.